spring is just around the corner. They say next week it's going to be, I think we're going to have a 60 degree day. But for those that are complaining, I just, this is why I called you here. I wanted to talk to you about the weather. Um, we had a very good December. You know, I mean, December was warm. I mean, seriously, that's why I'm here to call you here. Um, and so we've had basically two months. We had January and February, and everybody's going around saying, you know, this is the worst winter and everything else. Perfect weather, and it's gonna, we're going to have a glorious spring. And remember to set your clocks ahead this Sunday. Okay, thank you all very much. <laughs> well, you know, look, this is... Um, I wanted to call you here uh, this morning, but this is not about crowing. Uh, this is not about us uh, saying, you know, somehow we're we're great people, or you know, or what what's happened here today is is um, it's satisfying. It feels good to be part of uh, of a higher team. You know, I just had a thought that went through my head. It's Really, I, I can't really hardly understand how I got to be governor, to tell you the truth. Where's Blair? Can you believe this, Bob? It's hard to believe. Okay. It's hard to believe. <laughs> <laughs> because I first came into this building, I think it was January of 1975. Um, there's a lot of new press people here, but in January of 1975, I found myself the first day at work in the Senate president's uh, office, Mike Maloney. Were we the majority then, Bob? He was. No, minority. We were in the minority. And Bob Blair was there, and Betty Squiglia, uh, who was, we were the only three aides in the entire uh, Senate Republican caucus. That was it. Nobody else, just the three of us. And um, then I remember the path. I remember where we worked. I remember the path that we then took uh, as legislative aides and how excited we were to do that for a while. And I remember when a state senator by the name of Dave Johnson actually wrote a letter to Mike Maloney saying that Blair and I were doing a good job. We really pulled the wool <laughs> over his eyes. And, um, and I remember that Bob and I were across the street, and I don't remember whether it was a Wendy's or McDonald's, when I told Bob that I was going to run for the state senate. And he dropped his food on the floor of the restaurant and said, you can't do that. I don't know how you'll ever win. And the art of going from that point to my sitting here today is, uh, it's pretty amazing and pretty overwhelming. I don't know if any of you could ever understand that. I'm not kidding with you on this. I'm not being, I'm just telling you, it's amazing. And um, so I've been really been blessed. So we came in here, started running this campaign back in, I don't know what year it was, but it was certainly before 2010. Because Tim and Jerry Ray and Bob Blair, who my, my, Greg Moody, Wayne Struble, we all started working on how we could really do things to improve Ohio, to help fix Ohio from the governmental side. And then we won, and we had been saying that we thought we could balance the budget, and we didn't have to raise taxes, and we could reinvent the way that Ohio worked. And I could remember telling Jerry Ray that we were going to sell the turnpike. Um, and then he explained to me that we couldn't get the money. And I said, well, okay, let's move on to another idea, but let's not lose that one. You remember that, Jerry? Yes, I do. And um, so you might remember that $8 billion in the hole and being, uh, what do we have, how much in the rainy day fund? Like 89 cents. And there were a lot of skeptics, and we ran a very, you know, it was a tough campaign. We won. And, um, and then things started to get better. Why, why were they getting better?